Okay. Then try to yes. explain one, two. No, no, just keep no, keep it down. Adults in life. Everyone should say something. Action. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> and today we have Onyeka. Dami. Timmy. <laughs> Scholar. <laughs> Bumi. And Samuel. Yes, yeah, so we have how many how many are we? We're six people and we're six youths. Of which we have something in common. We're all adulting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think I was talking to one of my friends and she was like, Oh my god, this adulting is a ghetto, but she's currently still in uni. So I'm like, hmm, that's an interesting thing to talk about. So why not just talk about it with people who are currently experiencing it now i don't want this thing to be so super super formal but yeah so i think all of us will share our adulting experience like the first time that we knew that we were adults starting from oyeka ah uh, no not start from me or start from somebody else <laughs> <laughs> uh, somewhere uh, somewhere, 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 somewhere please give him the mic there you go i know oh, i have to take it well, if you yeah. want to. um for me i think i realized that was and now that I realize, okay, Samuel, I don't know. Like, so I needed some stuff and I was trying to, like, you know, just ask for it casually, but I didn't get it and I was like, yo. How old were you? 18. Then. Ah, that's. That that was that's... Really young. No, but. Wait! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> to think of it, 16-year-old here, Woko. It's yeah. just Nigerian. It's just, yeah, Nigeria, how old is Nigeria? And like me, I most of my, in fact, all my university years, I went to private university, so I didn't quite have that kind of reality of standing alone. We always had yeah. things kicked out of for us. Like so when I came here, paying rent every month, I sat down one day <laughs> and I asked myself, "What's going on? Is this how I'm going to continue living? <laughs> no parents, my father's house. <laughs> like the money might be there, though, but like just having yeah. God that is removing, like yeah. it's crazy." reality yeah well Bumi, when was you my first realization that well i'm an adult was at 16 when i went to uni and i went to school and i came back and realized i had to cook my own dinner so yeah um oh, wow. there was no mom or dad or you know um just me and the first um point of i don't know yeah, yeah. yeah. how old are you 16. Um, I, I can't remember how old I was, but I think either I was I was in uni, so I was obviously below 21, but it was on a day where I had to go to the hospital alone, like see the doctor alone, go to the nurse, nobody talk, just me alone. That day I cried, oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I cried for almost everything, but that day I actually cried because I felt, I felt alone, like my mom and dad, if they are wasting my time, my dad usually go and shake things up, but it's just me. <laughs> but yeah, that was, the, that was the first time that I realized that I'm an adult. Tell me, what were you? Mm, when, when? I think it was after uni. My mom called me one day that I'll start playing for DST. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that time it was like 4,000 naira every yeah. month. But my salary was small. Maybe my salary was 90 or 80,000. Then I realized how difficult it was. 90,000 is not small, no. I can't remember. And I realized how difficult it was to remove 4,000 after I had all that things. Wow. <laughs> that then stopped like on me. 4,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was married that time. Every month. <laughs> It's not that easy. I'm telling you. That was the time it turned on me. I said, but this is in my house. Yeah. But I still pay, I still pay now, but now like, it's different. Well, nah, yeah, but then, different. You yeah. still pay from here? But what like this? I would just pay for the whole year. Like, I would just transfer it. Nah! No, it's not good for it. It's not good for it. But that time, it was not easy. Even for thousand Nah. I know, obviously. Even as they come back then. Nah, my just still will make us you know they are meant to, they are meant to double your, they are meant to double your pay. That money I say five more did not pay me too. I don't know how many. But they gave me bicycle school allowance. I was happy for that one. What do you call that? Bicycle allowance. Ah, when you're in camp, they give you bicycle allowance. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. Two thousand. To buy a bicycle allowance. No, as transportation. Oh, okay. You should do NYC. No. Because I need to pay for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't enjoy it. Okay. For me, for me, the first time I knew about adult, about adult was that um, I was working, um, I was staying in my uncle's house. So I usually, I mean, usually would pick me 
from this thing and take me to work. When I'm done, he so, will wait for me. Yeah. He will carry me back. Yeah. You know, so car will carry me going, yeah. carry me coming. Yeah. Uh, like no, I, I mean, I used to enter bike once in a while, but like, it was once in a while, and he would give me transfer money to enter the this thing he was he was he was i i, I think when 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 just just look at this guy ah this guy's any money now by himself what well, one morning he just left he said ah, i should come i should come i said how should i come <laughs> eh? I, I should i should wait my own money that's for flexing i should do to enter transport me transport hey god almighty i mean i've been supporting my parents and stuff right but it's not really done on me. I've got been doing this since when I was small, so well, it wasn't a big deal. I don't see that as adulting, but I was having to pay for my own transport. Ah, was so when I mean, really? that was the first time. First, ah, man, ah, man, man. Mm. So, what's the so, so, when so, what's the most adult thing you've ever done post post that point? I remember. <laughs> wait, wait, ah. let's start, let's start from let's go. Let's no, 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 I'm thinking you have to remember. Okay, oh, yeah, uh, was because when when I'm I was filing and doing um, my papers to come to Ireland, right? My company said, oh, we should file and stuff. And I, I, I had to file for my wife. And like, I had to file for her, like do everything, like print everything. Normally, I said, ah, I should not, normally my, my parents would do this for me. I remember, now, I remember. I'm not doing it for me. me. I'll say, ah, let me do it. And I said, ah, no, I should do it. I should print everything, do passports. I will, you know, this, you know, this airport that you, ah, they have your papers here, they have everything. Yeah. I, was, I was doing it. I'm like, God, oh, ah, I'm old, oh. <laughs> I think I, I'm, even, I'm even wondering why that one even struck you. I think the first time, so uh, before before we left Nigeria, so in the house, I think something happened. So the door was jammed. And I called him and I said, the door is jammed. And then he said, eh, what should we do? I said, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the man of the house. Figure it out. Go call Carpenter or something. And I said, hey, I'm just a baby. And I said, if you're a baby, who am I? Please go and sort it out. I, I think together, I think that was the first adult thing that we had to overcome. Wow. And two of us were so confused on like what to price the carpenter. We're like, oh, guys, is it true? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and I called the Eka, this is how much he said. And I said, yeah, hey, are you sure? That's, I said, okay, let me talk to him. And I said, wait, talk to my, talk to my husband. I said, God have mercy. <laughs> But for me, what's the most adult thing I've done since then? I think the what I can remember that was the most adult thing was when I bought my phone for myself by myself that day. Ha! Ah, my account felt it. And it was a brand new iPhone then. So I think that was the most adult thing I, I had done. And I felt proud of it. But yeah, mm-hmm. now the iPhone is outdated, but we can go. <laughs> Dami. I'm doing it after. It's color. Someone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it for Bob? Yeah, Bumi? Like, yeah. My first you, you adult thing would be, I, I suppose, paying rent and and bills. Um, because my parents did that up until uni, and then when I moved here, and I had to do that. Yeah, that's my first. Mm. Mm. No, Mine is when I realized, oh boy, salary might look big, eh? But when you, when you, <laughs> when everything <laughs> suddenly yes. comes, really you have to. You know, like you realize you have responsibilities that you never actually really thought of when you're saying mm-hmm. yes to your job. Mm-hmm. And I think now I then begin to think, oh, I have to, I have to begin to think of a raise. I have to, you know, begin to try to I'm like go up the ladder. Because now I'm, I see like I have responsibilities that I didn't think of mm-hmm. at the time. I was like, oh, I'm getting this money. Oh, it's a lot of money. It's fine for me. But then I'm like, oh, younger brother, your mother. If you're Nigerian, you understand. Oh, yeah. Like, ah, yeah. You have different little little bills here and then you realize, oh boy. You also have to think of mortgage like while you're here. Oh yeah. You have to think of well <laughs> <laughs> No, because you have to think of a car, like so many things and I was like, oh my god, it's just too much. And I realized yes, I'm an adult. <laughs> and I need to Okay. I think mine was actually leaving my parents and everything back home to come to Ireland. Did you cry? I crowed. <laughs> someone behind me was like, "Did I lose someone?" <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, like, I've never cried that way. I didn't think I would cry, but then I looked back and I saw my mommy's face, and I was like, "I'm leaving." <laughs> I cried so much because I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. That was the first time I was leaving my family, and I knew I would not see them for a long time. God, just remembering that day, and I was not in the airport alone. My mom now sends me a message: "Call, we are missing you already." <laughs> Sorry, sorry, 
Wow. Okay, okay. David. Eh, okay. This one was my twin in Nigeria. It was time to pay like they paid fees for masters. Why are you always afraid Sorry. of it? Sorry. They paid fees for masters for the first year. It was not time for the second year. So that they started sharing it too. I said, "Wala." Let me tell you. Ah, them na de. Your name is maybe five thousand. You are. I'm like, I didn't know my name would come up. I'm like, your is so 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 thousand. That's okay. Now don't do me again. That I've entered this one. <laughs> that's all, that's all I can remember. Uh, but what's the scariest thing or like your biggest fear of being an adult? Anyone? Not the biggest fear. Your certainty. Mm, yeah. I think that everything right. that everything like rel- me relies on you. Right? Like, like, it's, like it's you. You are the one that is, you know, and there's no certainty. You know when you were growing up, after primary school, you are sure that they're going to secondary school. Yeah, no, there's no thing, you know, it's secondary school. After secondary school, you know, you go to university. You're, 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 you're almost certain of your next step, whether you like it or not. But when you now enter that mode, like you're on your own, your career, you have to figure out by yourself, family, life, there's no, I mean, there are people around, but like everything is on you, like you are not, you are in, you are in charge. Sometimes it's very, ah, me that say, baby, me that say this one that will carry me and lead me and stuff, right? And it's not, as if, I don't know, but it's not as if many people actually talk to you and this, this, this is how you be an adult or this is how, and all, there's, in fact, there's never there's book, everybody's life is different, everybody's, yeah. But, but is it different though, like, being, like, been an adult like, here and I've been an adult in Nigeria. Sure. There's been a migrant here. Like, is sure. it bad? Like, what we have to worry about is different. If I was abroad, I'll definitely still be living in my parents' yeah. house. Yeah. Obviously, it comes with the negative sides of being an adult. That is very annoying. But it's not negative. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the ladies, she finish her housework. But aside yeah. from that, yeah. Then I don't. I, I, Okay, well, I used to pay for fuel in my car, but if the car is bad, I'll just park the car and say that there's something wrong with the car and he will fix it. <laughs> like, I don't used to bother about all those kind of things, but here, anyways, I think I'll do it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also, like, here, you know, like, when you're back home, you know, whatever happens, I'll go to my mother, like, your father's house, your mother's house is there, nothing can happen. But here, you know, if you don't pay your rent, <laughs> and monthly again, yeah, that like, monthly rent, sometimes I'm you like, have to make sure you're doing well at work. Sometimes my mind is not converted to Nigerian naira. <laughs> I'm like, I can use this money to buy a house, but then I like, but is that okay? So now the next question is: Is there something that was on your bucket list when you were young? And that you are looking forward to do as an adult, uh, it's or it's that you have not done. <laughs> eating to meat. Uh, it's oh, yeah, you always eat to meat. <laughs> I don't understand. This one yourself was a problem for me because me, I can eat food without meat. Yeah, but oh, yeah, it's as if it's a cause. I'm like, I like feeding. Feeding is like work. It's like how can you work all this while you eat rice? You walk. You are chewing and chewing, and there's no reward. <laughs> There's nothing. No. There's, yeah, it's a reward. No, 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 no. Uh, it, to me, it's a reward. Uh, how can you do everything? And you now see this thing. But I mean, I mean, eating to me, to me, honestly. I mean, uh, it's a very trivial. But one to my parents, you know, the eating to me that you to you want meat. And you know, eating, eating any any how you want. Right. I, I, I think the second thing is like. Like I can go out before my, my my house. We have seven o'clock. We must the house. So we have prayer. We must be that seven o'clock prayer. But now that I have time to go outside, I have freedom to go outside. I never leave my house. <laughs> and then I used to sing by eleven p.m. When? sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think for me, when I was young, one crazy thing that was because I always used to see it in movies when like people would go with their girlfriends and get drunk and have parties. So like my I remember in my um. List of the yeah, my bucket list. I was like, get drunk in my room with a friend. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but growing up now, I know, I know the reality of things, and like, obviously, I'm not meant to do that. And the fact that there's nothing really to it yeah. per se. And I think when I was 13, I was I went to a club, but we had this end of year party. And I went there and I saw that it was like a club scenario, but the fact that I was shouting, the music was loud, I was like, nah, I just exed that dream. So I think the next one would be maybe traveling, having a girl's trip. That's still something I want to do as an adult. I'll be in it. Okay. <laughs> What's your own? Uh, I think it's very trivial because my growing up, when my aunties come from London, they'll bring these celebration chocolates. We'll not have to share it with <laughs> one, one, two, two. <laughs> So in my mind, I'm like, ah, why can't I just have a big, why can't you just have it? So when I came abroad, and I'm like, picked 
celebration chocolates from the shop. I'm like, uh-uh, say me this is chocolate. <laughs> that will be fighting for me. Oh, we'll hide it. <laughs> say no, it is such a Christmas. It's yeah. so like, ah. I don't have enough, I can so that's one. It's very trivial though. It's not trivial. <laughs> I still hear yeah. Nami. Mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mumi, yeah. anything on your pocket Um, I don't want to be so like Mumi. serious. Um, I suppose mine would be financial independence. I really hate um, asking for help. So like I was very happy to like lift the burden off of my dad in terms of my I don't know, upkeep and stuff. Yeah, so that's my to-do list. Okay, I don't mm-hmm. think what I'm mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I said for my parents could have said so <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Honestly, I think the thing that pains me now is that so now that I'm married, usually when my parents travel, they buy stuff for everybody. But now they don't buy stuff. Oh, for oh, they'll call me and I'll yeah. hear them sharing things and I'm like, where's my own? They say your husband's house. That's what it used to be. It used to be. Yeah. Yeah, it got me to when last year I was like, where's my own Christmas clothes though? Okay. And I was actually still, but then I was joking. You know? I'm like, this is not the life. Honestly, my, like, my mom always used to do Christmas clothes, all those things, yeah. but now it's... Yeah, I remember something as well. Um, in, my, in my family, every um, January 1st, my whole extended family, we, all, we, we have a big party every single year. Yeah. And every time, since when I was small, all my uncles would come and I give like, you know, means on all the other notes. Then everybody one by one, this for you, this for you, one money, you two money, you three money. I'm looking forward to going, I mean, doing this in general. Ah, you come, everybody come, 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 come. You take one money, you take two money. <laughs> so, like, like rich uncle vibes, yeah. someone. <laughs> Mine is money. To go on a trip but not be on a budget. <laughs> hey, levels. No, because I like, thought I go on a trip, but always thinking, ah, over. Oh you have to, you have to econo- not economize, sure, but like, like you have to. Right? <laughs> because like you have to always think of like the next, like, which is not like the money is not there, but you have to think of the things you would have to do with money for the next After coming months. Yeah, <laughs> so, but I want to reach a point where I know like, yo, no matter what you do, those coming months you are good, and just go on a trip and enjoy myself okay so finally what's one advice you would give to young adults teenagers something you've learned growing up or now that you want them to learn as well so they will not (laughs) 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 yeah so what's one lesson you would tell to your younger self and you tell to other young people there so you can say your age and then talk Oh, sorry. Lessons, lessons, lessons are not age based. Um, cut your coat according to your size. Like, don't ever try and do more than yourself. It's okay to be indoors and not go out sometimes. Like, you may not have enough. Mm-hmm. Just that I'm not going. It's not hard because I have. I, like, yes, there's right at home. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of friends. Like, you see them, they will go and enjoy them. And at the end of the day, they will come back to ask me for money. Mm-hmm. And that thing annoys me. Like, okay, that means you couldn't afford to do this thing. Like. If you can't afford luxury, it's okay sometimes. You go afford it later on. That's it. Okay. I think you like, put God first because He has a blueprint for your life. So don't go according to the crowd and then cut yourself some slack. You make a mistake. I mean, growing up, I was really uptight. I was really careful not to make mistakes. And I was just kind of like a perfect child that already just knows where she's going with adulthood i've made so many mistakes that oh my god i felt like this can be me this can be me can be, just cut yourself some slack it can be you <laughs> <laughs> life happens you know, just shrug it off and move on don't remember you are yeah. thank you no no but we're not once you're <laughs> no but summer about say um i mean similar to what scholar is saying yeah like enjoy every stage of life yeah. like if you're, a, if you're a child be like a child make the mistakes you learn you grow that way your development becomes proper that you not pretending but like trying to be an adult when you're a kid fake it, you fake it. it and then you actually get to miss some things that i think are actually important for your development okay. yeah that's that's what i said so just enjoy every um process this every stage of the process okay. i think Oh yeah, but well, I don't have anything to add apart from that. Like for me, I was very serious um, in uni, and I well, 
coupled with like my anxiety I didn't like when friends invited me anywhere I I didn't go um, and then I remember like my life my, my last um, year in uni just a few months before I left and I was at bus stop just looking back at what I've accomplished yeah yeah I'm gonna get my medical degree what I really hadn't lived so that was the turning point for me where I'm like look this life is not serious yes challenges will come but you also need to enjoy yourself yeah. mm, exactly. yeah. I think for me it will be that um don't be fixated too much respond i mean seasons will change and you will you, you get to see new part of you that you thought you never knew so respond to the season as it comes don't say i want to be a doctor and it's doctor 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 it's good to have that in mind though but no but oh, oh, sorry. be flexible to respond to seasons right most people accidentally the world is essentially stumbling to purpose or what they're doing so just never say never just respond to seasons and i think the second one is i mean it's on career that you will pay very dearly for what you don't learn early i mean you will pay i'm telling you right no 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 i'm very serious so I'm, this is career focus now which basically career right and uh, because because um I, I realized that i mean those are doing very well there I mean, in my line of work, are those that really know the simple things very well. They know the simple things extremely well. It's, it's the master of the little things that actually make a master. So just, just you know, <laughs> keep doing the little things. Who's next? I think they hear my advice almost every time. So. Dami. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, so is there any, I know all of us schooled in different places. Where did you school somewhere? Turkey, Italy, Nigeria. By the way, we have some, some, we have some welcome <laughs> on another show to talk about how you can go to school for free. Offer to masters. That's right. <laughs> Offer. Offer. Free, free, free. Yeah. Free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I used to get scared <laughs> about this. Okay. Masters. So where the three bachelor? What sister? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. sorry. No, so I studied them. Um, I'll say I did my bachelor's in charity. Okay. No, it's a, is a different video. We will talk about that. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. Anyways, I think you guys always hear my advice for free, so it's it's nice to hear other people talk about other things and give you advice as well. So, is there any song that, when you hear it play, it reminds you of childhood memories? I know my own. Your it's up to me, to you. It's up to us. You don't know the world, a better place, a place where we can love, where we can love, where we can live together in peace and harmony. To me, you're getting married this year. In the next, 12, in the next twelve months. That that's my song. Who else? I know some uh, where my mama smoke? I be where my picking smoke. That Indomie song, song uh, advert. I, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, I don't know. It's, it's song. Yeah. Why can't I like my mind has gone blank? Do Indomie shows? Are you missing ten years ago? For the whole. We don't know that one. Though. No, you got to excited. Mine is. Mine is. Um. My friend with the man. Empty and empty and bring advert. Bring advert. My friend with the man was a great man. When he was young, they asked him, where would you like to work? There, he said. <laughs> oh, I remember that's that one. I think that's... Yeah, I think... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you know the extra cool adverts. Which one? Okay. What's the Baba Blue? Even the Amateur. Yeah, I got the Baba Blue, but I don't remember how it goes. Ah, but Baba Blue, I swear, I'm not gonna do one. Did it have a song? No. 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 What the kids nowadays listen to? Say? Honestly, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't like they listen to YouTube. Coco Melon. We do, we do, we do. They listen to TikTok and Snapchat. No, but then during our breaks, we'll be singing the songs. Yeah. Yeah. And come outside. It's even too simple. You know, I, I, I mean. I'm not reason that you know, I'm getting old. It's when I start seeing other. I mean, because I, I, my mind, my mind, I'm still a young boy. I'm still a very, yeah. I'm still a baby boy. Oh. Yeah. I'm a baby boy. 
you got but but but, but like when because i i come from a family of six boys and i have like four younger brothers when i when i talk to them and i hear what they do and how they are right? i'm old man <laughs> like I, I mean like if even in church waiting with some other is when you got people and yeah they talk and what they do ah like ah man i, ah, man, I can't man i'm old <laughs> Well, thank you all for coming. I actually have fun. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so hopefully you guys have been able to learn anything or two. In fact, a six or two because we're six people here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully Samuel will come for our next video. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. 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 Please la- please tell them to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, like, like, share, like, share, subscribe, subscribe comment. Repost every day. Press the red button everywhere. Make it red with likes. You know, to, to subscribe is no money. You just to press that button. Just press it. It's not hard. Press it. Not hard. Press, press, it. It. press somewhere where. You, you now press it. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.